Yes. How about a plane? Can you fly a plane? <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> I think it's more complicated than that, but all right, that's fine. It tells me all I need. Welcome to another episode of Cobbler with Cobbler. My name is Lucas, and today I'm joined with Aldert, uh, sewer, um, do some R and D. You're also uh, the resident uh, barber here. Yep, pretty, pretty, <laughs> much. pretty much. So before we get too far into it, um, thanks for joining me. Um, let's get into the cobbler. Oof. Only reason I'm here. That's <laughs> the only reason I show up every time. What do we got here? What is it? Uh, this today? is peach blackberry. Peach blackberry. Mm. Is it is it different every time on this? Yeah, I mix it up sometimes. I think you've done this one before. Right? I have done this one before, but I needed to finish the frozen blackberries. Mm, okay. Um, that, I, that I picked over the summer. So this one. That's here? your water there. Yeah. I'll let you dish up. Oh, okay. This is this is a test. I gotta see how big of a, a piece you cut yourself. It tells me a lot about a person. In that case, <laughs> <laughs> are you a, are you a fan of cobbler? What's what's your go to dessert? Ice cheesecake. cream, cheesecake. Okay, man, after my own heart. Yeah, I'm all about cheesecake. Yeah, I think I I've tried many, but uh, or uh, or flan. Oh yeah, flan or cheesecake. Mm. Yeah, I can see the similarities. Yeah, I just had cheesecake on Monday. What uh, type? Just strawberry. It was like a it was a chocolate. It was like a triple chocolate cheesecake or something. We had cheesecake for a shared birthday, my birthday a couple weeks ago, and then um, Abby's birthday was this Monday. Happy, thank you, thank birthday. you. Birthday. What 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 do you do here exactly? So, uh, what what I do now, how I started. Uh, let's let's just go into like uh, what you do currently. Like, what's your day to day kind of look like? Day to day is um, uh, sewing. So I come in, sew right from the beginning, start my my kit or mm-hmm. what I have, have going on that day. If uh, anything needs to get done as far as people having issues with their machines, I also get on that um, okay. for for the most part. So I do uh, some R&D. So, right. Yeah, you know, we work together on that. Oh, yeah. yeah. So um, definitely do some of that. But for the most part, anything that needs to get done as far as sewing or design, I try to jump on it. Right on, yeah. And you do um, you do a lot of like repairs and stuff like that too. Like oh yeah, patchwork Can't, things like that, right? More more recent, yes. Um, that's what I tend to forget. Um, yes. Um, and it's kind of cool now that I so think about sewing is once you're familiar, you get to know your machine. Every everything I wouldn't say fun, but every yeah, I could say fun. So just the I I feel like the last week or two I've been getting really familiar with the, the repair machine or the oh, long actually, arm. yeah the long arm patch machine so it's yeah. uh it's starting to get starting to get fun more enjoyable yeah that's interesting so like kind of figuring out the machine itself is almost like half the battle would you say or oh for sure um it's just like anything you know it's uh it's like when you get to meet some like a random person you know the more you kind of dig into it the, sure the more you kind of figure it out right? gotcha yeah, yeah so yeah definitely the when I first, when I remember the first repair, I noticed it was making some weird noises. It was a little dustier than it should. Mm-hmm. So cleaned it up, threw some oil, and it's been it's been doing good. That's awesome. Yeah, I remember. I think it was just like last week or the week, week before or that you were like you're having issues with the the long arm machine for repairs, and then just a few days ago, you're like, I, I got it. I figured it out. Oh, yeah. cleaned it out. It's it's working really well. It's the coolest feeling. It's yeah. a, it really is. Um, I still haven't gotten down like my actual, you know, the sewing machine I'm always on, but uh, I'm, I'm getting there. I know. Hopefully. Yeah. And let's, uh, I mean, let's talk about the R&D a little bit. I mean, for me, that's that's one of my, the funnest parts of my job, uh, which I'm happy to know I've been doing more of that. Hi, Mikey. I heard there was cobbler. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just uh, bust into our set and yeah. steal some cobbler. Talking to Alder today, huh? Right on. <laughs> Good yeah, man. Yeah. Talk <laughs> about some R and D. Super um, talented. 
Super good guy. Super good to have on the crew. Real happy you're here, brother. Thank you. Appreciate right. you very much. Likewise. There's uh, plates in the break room. If you want to grab. Get, I'm just going to get a bike. <laughs> okay. I'm going to work a little bit of overtime, so I'm going to get a little quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, there. Yeah, we try to have a professional set, but uh, <laughs> people here, there's cobbler, and they just bust in. <laughs> now I know. Um, yeah, so, I mean, R&D, you've been huge help in like, you know, new patterns, sewing, I'm figuring them out. Um, sewing always seems to kind of be our bottleneck or most, the, kind of the most difficult part. Always need more sewers, it feels like. Oh yeah. I mean, you've definitely shown an interest in design. Sneaking back in. <laughs> <laughs> where, where does that come from? I mean, you, you did some of your own, like, you make clothing or yeah, alterations? Oh, uh, alterations, so started, uh, that's what brought me in total different you know um but it's uh it tailoring and, and design and customizing is is what kind of brought me in and and so thank you <laughs> see it mikey you guys mikey. it's it's good it's good <laughs> you know what you're good <laughs> you are man <laughs> thank you <laughs> anyway um yeah so you I said Mike, uh, by the way. yeah he's awesome he's the best um tailoring design um you do um, like Letterman jackets, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it got to a point where I know how we do, you know, kind of like what we do here. I could build from scratch, but it just gets a little expensive. And right. when it's kind of when you get down to the nitty gritty and you're selling it, you work out the hours and time. And it just uh, uh, sometimes it's uh, kind of have to. Right. You all, you break even if you're lucky sometimes. If, yeah. If that. So. Yeah. So what I what I I did or do um, is I collect vintage uh, Letterman jackets. Mm -hmm. Actually, now any anything that's vintage and even coach jackets and stuff like that, mm -hmm. preferably blanks. Um, I do find stuff that uh, a lot of track and cross country since that's what I did. Anything that has eighty four since that's the year I was born. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And so um, if it's if it needs repair, I repair it. And um, after I repair it, one thing you probably always find in Letterman jackets, uh, being a smaller guy, all every Letterman jacket just fits wonky, especially if the cool ones, the, the ones from the, you know, it's later, the, mm -hmm. the, the better. But they always fit a little wonky. And so I tailor, I tailor them. So repair, tailor, and then customize them. That's awesome. I don't know. Is that kind of how you found your way to Nick's? Uh, uh, no, not not really. Um, I had moved to the Spokane area. Mm -hmm. uh, what got me into into the the store um, was uh, the Traveler boot. Oh, you know what? I I don't know why I forgot. You came in like as a customer, right? Correct. Yeah, I remember meeting you when you were here, and you yeah. were talking about how you were interested, and I think you were interested in doing like almost either end of the building, right? Like oh, yeah. Sales or, or production. Yeah, sales or production. I just kind of uh, was really interested. I know I had um, heard about you guys through, I think, the collaboration or collab you guys did with Filson. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a little while, while ago. I, yeah. was, I was living in Seattle when, uh, uh, and I, I remember seeing that, and it was weird, you know. I was like, Spokane? You know, mm -hmm. but I was still in Seattle, and uh, turns out a couple years later, um, I ended up moving to the area and I just, uh, I remember driving by and it's almost like a, speaking of an island, uh, mm -hmm. it's just kind of random and I passed by and I was like, Hey, I think that's the Knicks. And, uh, sure enough, I stopped by and it was, and yeah. it was interesting, uh, with leather. I had worked on obviously with Letterman, some of the Letterman jackets, mm -hmm. um, have, uh, you know, leather sleeves. So I worked uh, with leather before, but not in this, this type of way. Yeah, I, I remember. I don't think I helped you in store, but I think someone grabbed Micah. Mikey helped Micah helped you. Yeah, I think you grabbed me and said, hey, I got someone in store and he's like asking if we're hiring. And I remember talking to you and like mm -hmm. getting to know you. And then I think you went and talked to Serge. Yeah. And then after you left, I was like, Serge, what do you think? And he's like, yeah, I like him. I was like, well, if you don't hire him, I want to hire him on our side. So, <laughs> like, let me know. Like, you obviously, production gets first dibs, obviously, but I think we should hire him either way. Because, you know, it's, it's always great to find someone who's got the passion first. Like, the yeah. passion gets you so far Oh yeah. in an industry like this. I mean, there's so many people who work here who, just like you, like, 
Luke has a similar story. Uh, Lucas has a similar story. A lot of other employees here have a similar story of like, yeah. I came in to get boots first and then was just enamored by everything here and like really wanted to be here five days a week, 40 hours. A yeah, week. What, what's really cool too, uh, um, at the time, uh, you don't see too many places that, you know, like I said, I uh, when I would find a jacket and that right person would want it, I would let them kind of customize what they wanted mm -hmm. to do to the jacket. And um, you guys were doing that in a bigger scale with boots. Right. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah. But the thing is, I, I came in wanting the a four inch. Oh, boot. right. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and we said, no, tough luck. Yep. Nope. Nope. You can't. You can't have that. So you gamed the system by getting a job here. And work here long enough until we let you design your own boot. Exactly. <laughs> my, my job here is done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, all right, I'm done. I'm out. Uh, um, would you say that's like your favorite part of the job? Uh, being able to design new things, uh, the R&D work, things like that? Oh, for, for sure. Um, figuring it out. Um, it's it's a love-hate relationship sure. kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, it's... Uh, because it, it takes a while to figure things out, especially with leather. You you either got you're lucky if you have two two tries. With leather, you're gonna see if you puncture it. It's everybody's gonna see it. So um, okay. definitely. Um, but once you figure it out and it just happens and everything works out. Yeah, I would agree with that. It's um like you said, it's you mess up. You just there's not like oh let me fix it. It's all right. Let me throw this away and completely restart. Oh yeah, and there's, there's been, there's definitely been more of that than, mm -hmm. but like I said at the end when it actually works out, it's, it pays off. Yeah, out. I guess I mean the Alder boot. That is, I think that was like the first time, your first like, foray into like designing boots for us, right? Like correct, correct. Yeah, I like I said, I've designed, I, with random things. I just admire anything in you know out mm -hmm. here. That's already been made and kind of try to make it my own. Right. So uh, it was cool to be able to do that with the boot here. If I recall, the original idea was like you wanted to chuck a boot, right? That was kind of the, well, the intention. And yes and no. Um, that's the the best way I could describe it to mm -hmm. like when I was trying to get the idea across. But um, I like I said before, um, I do a lot of running. I've always you know been into hiking, and so. I always felt like uh, with some people that I've always heard, you know, for hiking, you want a higher boot or, and, but because of running, I kind of mixed, a uh, mixed right. um, both in, into it. So whenever I would go hiking, I would actually take my running shoes. Gotcha. Yeah. So I always loved a, a you know, low top. Mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. So, um, try to make something similar that I could, uh, wear, um, you know, downtown. And at the same time, if I wanted to go get dirty, I could also wear it. Yeah, I think it's a great and, boot. It's, and was also felt comfortable wrapped around sure around the ankle. Yeah, or yeah. Right beneath. We had the um, we have the three inch, um, the Comstock pattern. Correct. It's got like a little bit of a swoop to it. It's a good boot, but um, yeah, there have been some like I, I feel like four inches is kind of the perfect height for a boot. The three inch almost kind of bites a little bit. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean it's a, it's a good looking boot. Um, we've gotten a lot of orders for it. And it's it's a really cool like low profile like Micah has got his uh, that he wears it's like a black rough out with the Christie sole. It's definitely one of my favorites. Yeah, that I've seen. Yeah, it's like I I I'll, I'll look at his his feet sometimes and like forget he's wearing boots. Oh, they for look sure. like tennis shoes almost. For sure, it's, it's like the perfect low profile. Every time he comes back there, I just yeah. I, actually, and everybody that's wearing one of the older, um, yeah, I just like admire admire it and yeah, they're um like I said I. It was kind of my the boot that I've always pictured out there to be, and for some reason yeah. I had never yeah found one. Yeah, it really fits with um, especially like Micah's vibe because he's very like he wears like streetwear. He's not yeah. like he's not the type of person I'd be like, oh, you're gonna wear like a six or eight inch tall logger style boot. Um, he wears like joggers and you know stuff like that, and so it's like it, he's able to pull it off. And it it adapts look, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. adaptable um, boot. But uh, I mean, I've been throwing around the idea of doing an actual checka. It's something I've been wanting to talk with you. Um, maybe next year, yeah. I think it'd be cool to design one, a little bit different pattern style. Oh, definitely. I I I do wear like like I said, it. What that's the best way I could describe right. the idea to get it across. But 
definitely chukkas are you know i do wear them mm-hmm. um speaking of like new new stuff r d um is there i mean we've got kind of a lot in the works i'm just curious is there one thing in particular that has given you the most trouble that has been the the hardest challenge uh, um, recently I, I feel like every single every single project uh you there's a speed bump that comes sure comes in uh cross but um uh, could i say the boot yeah yeah okay, um the one that i feel it's um uh, it's a lot of steps to it um you master one step and you're happy about it and then you're on to the next one mm-hmm. i feel like the western boot is, oh yeah is uh for sure a lot of stuff that uh there's a lot of steps and processes that like we just never did before correct you know sewing it inside out having to pull it oh, yeah. the side seams even the pull loops yeah it's it's there's a lot to it there's a, yeah there's a quite a yeah. bit to it so especially but. like even our boots are like they they're the simple patterns yeah uh they don't have the intricate sewing and stuff but uh, i mean even those boots those makers they have machines where they just they in, input a pattern hit a button and it sews it all together oh yeah yeah I, it's it's uh it, that's the thing because uh, i i heard you say intricate uh sewing and and any sewer would love to do intricate sewing but mm-hmm. um when it also involves it you know being inside out and you're yeah. some sometimes the measurements have to be right mm-hmm. and uh it it gets a little tricky sure it's always tough the transition of like yeah you can build you can build a few pairs um but then getting it production ready where it's like okay now we have we have hundreds of orders for this yeah the, the chelsea was an interesting one but it still was very similar to our, our patterns yeah definitely um, I, I had fun making that uh our own i feel yeah is there um is there one thing that what, what what's the product that you were most excited to make oh is it yours I would, <laughs> of course, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say mine. Um, but no, I feel like, um, cause I feel like I, the only reason I say that is cause, um, I had the most say on that. Mm-hmm. Um, sure. on the other ones, I kind of had to still make it work. Mm-hmm. Um, so some of the things I, when you're trying to make something work, you sometimes don't have the say in things, sure. you, you know, you don't, it's not your design, um, from the beginning. So you kind of making it work, it right. makes it. Right. Uh, but um, I would probably say I I the 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 combat boot was kind of the or the the flare the uh, uh the the what like the three sixty correct right. okay yeah yeah, yeah that, I feel like that one was uh was kind of fun it, it had a little more of a aggressive lines right um, yeah, yeah, yeah so it was kind of cool With the to, tactile the heel counter and all of that yeah, yeah um i had to do the heel counter a few times right and then i remember i just stayed one when he or one afternoon and uh out of like four different designs that came out and then everybody was happy about it and then they came back to ask how it was done and i couldn't remember <laughs> how how i did it so we had to redo everything, but it was it was the reason I say I like the design because uh, it was sh- I could it was sharp. Yeah, um, it reminded me of like when I looked at like a you know, knife or a gun or something. Right. No, absolutely. Yeah, so, it definitely. It, it seems like a simple thing too, yeah, but like, cool lines. Yeah, the change of lines in that heel counter definitely yeah sets it apart, and um, kind of gives that um, that vibe of like a tactical boot. Um, yeah, I think it's a really cool, yeah. cool boot. People seem to really like it. It's been really cool to see that out in the wild, like people uh, oh, in yeah. full like BDUs. Like uh, we've got one photo of a guy um, who was just parachute, like just finished jumping out of uh, a plane, and he's like sitting on the ground, feet out, boots, and then his parachute is draped on the ground. It's really cool. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. We've seen a bunch of photos. People, uh, customers, have been sending photos of him like on helicopters and things like that, like actually wearing them. For military use which has been awesome i've been i've heard that the um, the leather we use for that boot and for like the water work the weather shield is not fun to work with is that the case for you for uh, sewing for sewing um i i think it's uh the 
the only time that I've no, I don't, I don't, I don't think. What What would you say is your least favorite to to work with? The, the one, <laughs> the most difficult. The I, the most difficult. So the least favorite is the one that like rubs off on your hand. Oh, you, okay, yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah the the, the oils, and then yeah. next you know. Um, you're going to lunch and your hands green or purple, <laughs> whatever color the leather is. But I wouldn't say I have there. There's a few leathers that are probably um, difficult to work with, uh, uh, depending on what you're using it for. For example, if you're working with the work leathers on a Western boot. Sure. That's when it gets difficult. Oh, right. Because you have to flip oh, that thing inside out by oh, hand. Yeah, but that's not easy. It's tough. But the the I feel like every sewer agree with the. The thread, the Technora thread, is the one that. Oh, really? Okay. It's, uh, that's I feel, if if your machine isn't acting right, right, Technora would is gonna throw it off. Gotcha. So, so I feel like um, leather. It would depend on what you're working, what mm-hmm. type of boot, but um, I would say thread, Technora definitely. I took a bite at the worst time there. <laughs> That's the funny thing. I, I feel like I'm tempted. Like, I don't know when exactly to take a bite. That's the trick. It's like, it, mm-hmm. am I going to be zoomed mm-hmm. in right when I'm taking a bite? Is That's it, right. No, no, no. Um, Kelsey will fix it in post and it'll look like we never stopped talking. Um, speaking of like difficulties with the job and things like that. Is there anything in particular about your part of the boot making process that you feel is um, like overlooked or looked or misunderstood about it? I, I feel like... Uh, uh, every uh, yeah, yes, as far as the R and D part, um, mm-hmm. when you make things work, um, and you sometimes make it look easy, or you you, and it's, it's it was hard, but it's just right. kind of, I feel like um, people don't really, or you know, and you pass it on, and I feel like it's um, sometimes not really like taken into consideration sure. how much time and effort sure even, even though it's you know you were right. able to pull it off at a certain time doesn't yeah. mean like it it could it was really easy to do right and, and um and so one of the the major things is like when you get something and you work on it and um you finally get it to work and and you're like really happy about it and then uh you've been you know then it's like oh could we tweak this right that's i feel like you start thinking, oh, is, is it maybe because I made it kind of, should I take it longer? Sure. Or is it like, so just sometimes um, the R&D part, um, yeah. once, it's, well, like I, like I was saying earlier, once it makes sense and it works out and then you have to uh, tweak it later because yeah. of something. Talk with you and like the production team, you know, we have our weekly production meetings where we kind of go over things and. You know, in the past, we kind of had like a, a top down approach almost of like, yeah. all right, here's what we're working on. Here's how we do it. There you go. Make it work. And uh, I definitely, you know, I'm I'm in no way a boot maker. Um, I have dappled in fixing boots and shoes. Uh, but like going forward on new projects, I think we've talked about like it's it needs to be a collaborative effort. Right. Yeah. Like it's we need those insights. It's a team effort. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's like, definitely. And, and likewise, you know, like there's a lot of. Um, Stuff that, you know, I just know how to do. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes I, you know, when I go down to bottoming, they'll start, mm-hmm. you know, showing yeah. off their their lingo. And yeah. their, and then so I just yeah. know how it looks, how it works yeah. uh, sometimes. So it, it's, yeah, it's a team it, effort. It blows my mind, the intricacies of like every part of the process that like it's just like uns- it's almost unspoken knowledge of like like cutting is the one that blows me the away the most and you did a little cutting didn't oh you? for sure yeah. for sure i uh i opened my my big mouth and then i first started and, <laughs> and said uh you know hey I, I i you know i as long as i'm helping the team right you know i don't care so they're uh, just moving you all over yeah the place. so yeah. but i loved it i yeah it, it helped me out with the r&d yeah i no, can, but yeah I've, I've talked to like ivan and and nate about just like what seems kind of like a simple thing, like okay, there's parts definitely of the, not. Yeah, there's parts of the thing, the hide that you want to cut from. That's the best part. And it's as simple as that, right? Avoid the belly, avoid the, this, that. And it's like no, no, no. If you you have to, you know, Ivan's told me about how like you have to have the upper sitting a certain way yeah. because if you twist it wrong on the hide, your upper's gonna get twisted. 
and like this part is the best for this part of the boot and this part of the hide is better for this part of the boot Definitely. and it's like every part of the hide has different qualities i mean it's it's kind of the same throughout the entire boot making process like each for station sure. there's these, these like unspoken things um like going back to the western boot and like uh what you've talked about or it's like you know some people sometimes it seems simple but it's actually really not yeah. the lack of lines stitch lines does not mean it's not difficult i mean there was a conversation with the western boots of uh well this should be simple or like it should take half the time because there's less <laughs> lines and uh you and the sewing team were like no 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 this is gonna be like five times as long to sew oh yeah this is not easy and uh that seems to be the case and uh, it's just it's really interesting running into those those difficulties overcoming them i personally i, I think we're kind of in the same boat where i'm like i i enjoy it those parts where it's hard are really hard but then you get over it and it's like best feeling ever oh for sure oh for sure yeah and, it's uh, been it's been really fun working with the team you guys are great the whole team like you mikey katrina everyone it's yeah it's really awesome like collaborating on stuff and like getting that input from everyone and seeing the excitement like i think brandle was a really good case of that yeah at the finishing line worked together on it and like everyone seemed really excited i think you were out sick unfortunately yeah. so you missed a lot of the final steps but like everyone was like really stoked on it and like it came together really well oh for sure yeah it's a good looking boot yeah it's beautiful i'm loving them uh they're looking really good it's uh it's been a long road i think it's been like a year and a half since we've been working on it yeah but yeah i mean we got a lot a lot coming down the line um western boot we've got the chelsea that i mean we're finished up with that but the pullman we're starting to make those now um brandle's coming out um we've got some other stuff in the works you know we've been working on like a pull-on um wellington style boot that i'm really stoked for i think yeah, that's that gonna be, be awesome cool. i yes. think that's gonna be really popular um maybe a chukka mm -hmm. if you're down yeah no i i like i said that's one of the my go-to's when i'm at home so yeah before we wrap up i i do have a question for you i saw you walking around on today your boots what, what are you what are you wearing it's a frankenstein it's a frankenstein boot is that a, is that a rebuild it's it's a re, it's definitely a rebuild um uh so it's the first pair of boots that i ever ever had oh um, okay my first uh pair of work boots uh i used to own a small little uh, uh used in new tire shop back in the oh, day okay uh so i i i went and got myself a pair and i kept them it's been uh, probably a little over ten years. Okay. So, what kind of boots were they? Oh, it's uh, they're a pair of Mokto Red Wings. Okay, and we rebuilt them, right? Is that correct? Okay. So I, um, I thought I saw some bison on there. Was... Oh yeah, I, I had to throw. Um, so they were they were thrashed. Um, they probably sh um, anybody else would have probably thrown them away, sure. but um, the Mokto area, uh, we do it a little different, but it was splitting open um, oh right yeah they did the job but i i um i w saw the the mm -hmm. bison back there and i had like the two-tone of the mm -hmm. boot um and sure enough i made it we made it work so yeah. I, I sewed them on there and <laughs> it seems to work they look pretty sweet so it's uh it was like the red wing 866 yeah right or the 19 yeah uh it's been so long since i've sold red. yeah i remember six i think or, or 877 i tell it tell the six inch mock toe right yeah okay there you go you can correct me in the comments if you want uh i i don't remember it's been so long since i've like sold red wings i think 866 is right though um but anyway yeah it's it's that boot and you've rebuilt it yeah it's that the it's the brown can uh, i show bison them? sure they're, if you want to well well, they, well <laughs> again kelsey will fix it in post you've done some interesting builds like uh other than you're just like designing a whole boot, I've seen some other ones that you've made and they've been pretty interesting. Oh, the um, the wingtip, the, the wingtip with I, the broguing all throughout yeah, it. I did all that hand. And yeah, yeah. Um, is there w which one's your favorite? Would you say? Uh, as the most functional ones would probably be the because I also did a um a, the buffalo. Oh, okay. The all brown. Oh mock right, yeah, mock yeah, toe. yeah, yeah. I think those are my go-to. Okay. So just the, and just it's the so uh, durable. Like a crusty sole. That's all I. That's all I get. Gotcha. Yeah. I say everything else is too rich for for my blood. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. So you know, we're actually unfortunately, we're well, not unfortunately. It's a good thing. 
because uh, it's going to get better. We're, we're getting rid of the Christie um, because of um, the wear. S- some wear issues and sizing issues. We're actually going to be coming out with um, a replacement. I think that's what I have on these. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. You've got the test sole on it? I got the test sole yeah. on it. Way um, more that's durable. That's why I call it the Frankenstein. Look, yeah. Looks looks just like a Christie. It really does. Um, but it's going to be our like exclusive sole. I'm really excited for it. I'm, I'm pumped because I've tried to kind of, mm-hmm. you know, I wear them yeah. all over, yep. you know, as far as for work, even when I'm not here. And uh, they take a beating. Yeah. That Christie sole, like, where's up crazy? Like, Micah, again, I mean, he's got a Christie on his altar. And um, he resold them, I think, earlier this year. And he was just asking me, he's like, hey, uh, I need a resole on my boots. I was like, what do you mean? You just. Oh, no. It's like, yeah, sure. I know. I wear them just in the office yeah. and I already need a resole. Oh, for sure. It's uh, it's one of the things. But yeah. that, that's, yeah. that's all. The I new wear. one. Yeah, we have all the soles. Um, I'm actually having them like attested by a testing facility versus the Vibram Wedge soles. And so we're going to see what holds up best. I, I think I know the answer, but I want like. I want to be able to be like, hey, here's the numbers. This yeah. is better. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I think it'll be, I think it'll be awesome. No, I, I, I agree. I was kind of like you said. I was kind of sad about it when somebody had mentioned it, and yeah. I was like, no. And then, uh, but they t- then quickly yeah. told me like, hey, there's going to be a replacement. Looks exactly yeah. s- or similar, if not similar, the same. and we can do like any color we want. Yes. Yeah. So we can we can go crazy with it yeah and so when i heard that i was like okay and then they actually two days later said hey there i think there's some terrible yeah and i was getting these rebuilt and i was sewing on the stuff and i was like hey let's give it a shot yeah i'm I'm glad you've been testing them out and you like them um because i'm yeah i'm really looking forward to that we'll have a few other wedge sole options that'll be pretty durable that we've been testing seems like uh all i do nowadays is r&d but uh, I love it. It's it's so much yeah. fun developing new things and and working with everyone and like getting that mind share and it really, getting a final product in the end. It really is. Um, it's uh, it's cool to put new stuff and sometimes you get beat up mm-hmm. by comments and you no know, you 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 watch Top Gun ten times and you learn the the lingo and you you feel like you <laughs> could fly a pilot jet or a right, jet pilot. Right. 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 They don't realize how hard it is to, yeah, to get it done. So. Absolutely. It's been great having you on the, the show. I'm thankful for you joining me. I know, uh, you know, staying after work. Yeah, got a baby to go to. Okay, yeah, so I'll, I'll let you go. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, be sure to review and leave a rating wherever you're listening, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. A hatchet. Do you want to know why? Yeah. I, it's probably one of the. I feel like uh, you watch enough survival shows. And I feel like the hatchet is one of the ones that will get you at least going for a few few months building building stuff. How big is the island? I don't know. Is there cell service? No. A boat. Oh, I should ask that too. Can I can I bring a boat, a working boat? Oh man, with I, an engine. I didn't ask. Yeah. I mean, I guess How about a plane? Can you fly a plane? <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> I think it's more complicated than that, but all right, that's fine. <laughs> it tells me why.